Today we're doing a cinematography breakdown of a section of an album teaser launch that I shot. We shot eight different short, like one minute long snippets of music videos inside of two and a half days. This is one of those sections. Now I've already done a breakdown to one of these on my channel and you can click the card up above or in the link in the description down below to go check that out. We had three different locations and lighting setups for this specific video, so make sure you stay tuned to the end to see all three of them. These videos are for an artist by the name of Jessica Lowndes, this one in particular called Right Now, which you can go stream on Spotify and on YouTube. I'll leave a link to the actual full edit down in the description below as well. Okay, jumping right in, we have this first frame. Now, this is obviously the title frame. These titles, the right and now, were obviously not there in person. They were added in post. This is the wide master shot of this setup, but I'll show you some tighter stuff later on. For the lighting in this shot, we kept it relatively simple, starting out with a bunch of quasar tubes, some of which you can see in the frame in the background. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four tubes, all just set to lit up the, the gym equipment in the background here, the walls back here. And in addition to the ones you can see in the frame, we actually have two on either side of her. So two tubes set to complete daylight over here and two tubes set to complete 5,600 daylight on either side, just sort of pointing in to help fill in her uh, in this hero shot. And for the main key light for her, that's lighting up her whole body here and just this whole total environment. We had up above a big RE Sky Panel S60 with a Chimera box on it in a grid. We wanted this to be very soft and directional light, so we put the grid on it and the Chimera box to soften everything up. Kept it full daylight matched with the tubes that were on either side of her on each side of the frame, just outside of the frame. This is just a tighter version of that frame. Again, you can see both the quasars on the ground there and the other ones are just off screen on either side. Shot wise for this setup where she's chilling in the corner of the boxing ring, we mostly shot on the Movi Pro to get sort of establishing and performance shots of her singing with the lyrics of the song. For this shot in particular, we used the leading lines of the boxing arena to sort of draw your eye in on our talent. Moving on to a very similar setup with, with a couple added touches, this frame here has a nice backlight as you can see all around her face. Now this setup was more or less the same lighting wise with the Astero tubes on the background, lighting up the background green, as well as on the sides and the sky panel overhead lighting up her face. But what we did is add a Aperture 600D with a spotlight mount set to tungsten to just give a really nice outline on this. And during this setup where she's actually boxing towards the camera, we took the camera off the movie and went handheld to have a lot more of a dynamic movement as if we're another boxer in the ring with her. In this video, we were shooting on the Red Komodo and the Atlas Anamorphics. And because those lenses flare really nicely, we wanted to add that backlight to get some really nice flares. And that's what you see in this frame here. Obviously, you're still getting the really nice sheen and backlight on her hair and on her face and just helps outline her. But you're also getting this absolute massive sci-fi flair, which normally you might not lean into, but because it's a music video, you can kind of get away with doing fun stuff like this and making it live in that very J.J. Abrams world. Also because the camera is handheld and bouncing back and forth, it's much more dynamic and you only see the flare come into frame for a very short moment in the shot. Do you like lens flare? I love lens flare. There Moving on to the next setup here, we wanted to make this really a dark and moody feel. All the lighting that's done in this setup can be seen within the frame. As you can see, once again, we do use some nice Astera Titan tubes and set to a nice dirty green color. And there's another one right up here. And what that does is give us a really nice reverse side key. We were actually using these as our key light and we wanted it to feel very dark on the camera side of the tower. In addition to that, jumping back into the frame, we have all of these bullet hole lights coming and pointing through. Fortunately for us, this was just built in location. This is a film location that we shot in in LA. That's already set up for lighting setups like this. All we did to get this effect is add a bunch of haze into the environment and then set up again that same 600D outside on a combo stand, just pointing in, nuking in and getting us that nice little hazy bullet hole lights that you see in the frame here. This also really helps provide a nice color contrast, having that dirty orangey feel of those lights coming through alongside the nice grungy green. I also wanted to show this tighter version of the frame just because this is even more moody. You can just see here the fall off on her face is much harsher. This is all falls into shadow, which just looks way more dramatic. And I personally love the compression of this shot, just how it 
punches you right into her face and her focus on the punching bag. We did a take of the wider setup on sticks and punched into this stuff all on the handheld to move really quickly and again have that dynamic energy while she's punching the punching bag. Moving on to the last setup, we had a very simple one for this and this was at the end of the day. We were running out of time but we needed more performance shots of her singing with the lyrics of the song. So what we did was really use the location wide advantage. We saw this cool concrete wall that we could shoot on and what we did is just rig a simple Astera tube match the same green we saw in the previous setup before and we just put that on the wall and what that does is just point down at her giving a nice like top light still keeping it very dramatic very grungy very like boxing gym vibe and here's just a tighter version of that frame as you can see here the green coming down on her face and all over the wall here and that just matches really nicely with the warmer skin tone she has all over her face. For this setup, we were mostly handheld as well, kept the movement a lot smaller because it was more about her performance and her singing the actual lyrics of the song in sync with the song. If you want to watch the full video, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Go show some love to Jessica and the director Brock who made this all possible. If you guys are enjoying these cinematography breakdowns, click the like button. It actually makes a difference and helps show these videos to other people who might be interested in them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.